Welcome to Gamla Uppsala. In this video I'm going to show you around the main burial site of this place. Gamla Uppsala or Old Uppsala is situated five kilometers north of present day Uppsala. You can see that in the distance. Uh, during the late Iron Age this was a place for religious ceremonies, large assemblies and markets as well as the home of a large population. The main attraction in Gamla Uppsala is the burial site, specifically the three huge burial mounds known as the Royal Mounds. They were built in the late 500s, early 600s AD. Before each mound was raised, uh, the deceased was burned on a funeral pyre together with his or her uh, grave goods. The West Mound and the East Mound were both excavated during the 1800s. The first one to be excavated was the Eastern Mound. A 25 meter long tunnel into the mound revealed a central cairn. Within was a clay pot containing the burnt fragments of human remains and grave goods, revealing one or possibly two individuals. The condition of the human bones made it difficult to determine the sex of the individuals buried in the royal mounds. The people buried in these giant mounds must have belonged to the ruling class of Gamla Uppsala based on the luxury items imported from different parts of the world they brought with them to the afterlife. For instance, the West Mound contained gaming pieces made of ivory from elephant or mammoth. Many mounds were raised in Gamla Uppsala. It is believed that around 2,000 mounds existed here at one point. Today there's around two to three hundred left. A few years ago one partially destroyed mound was discovered to have been as large as the other royal mounds. It is now known as the North Mound. The other mounds vary in size, but they are smaller, of course, than the Royal Mounds. However, Gamla Uppsala was not just a burial site. It was a place full of life. For instance, there were around 40 to 50 farms here, which is a lot since uh, Scandinavia were sparsely populated at the time. Uh, this was also a place where people from a larger surrounding area gathered. They came here to sacrifice to their gods and to trade. They also came here to participate in the Ting, an assembly where important decisions were agreed upon, uh, conflicts were resolved and those who had broken the law were punished. This was the first of two. In the next episode, we're going to look at some other monuments here in Gamla Uppsala. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.